Hey guys, what's up? Rajat here from World of VFX. Welcome back to this channel. So if you are planning to learn Unreal Engine and if you're new in this industry, then this video is completely for you. So let me clear it out. Unreal Engine comes from Epic Games Marketplace. So let me launch you the Epic Games Marketplace first. So EPIC Epic Games Launcher. So this is Epic Games Launcher. From here, go to this library. You can find out Unreal Engine setup files like 5 is to 1 is to 1, which is the latest version and 5 is to 0 is to 3, which is the older version. So recently this version has released. I will give more tutorials on this, but this video is completely a step by step process for a very first time if you launch Unreal Engine. All right, these are the like project files which I have recently created. So these are the project generation and this is the vault. Vault is like uh, you can actually download anything from marketplace. Some already are getting free, but some assets are paid. OK, so if you want any free, you can simply click on this free panel. You can definitely get all those free panels here from this vault or you can call this as a marketplace. All right, let's go to this library once again and let's launch Unreal Engine 5.1.1. Just click this launch button. It will start launching. Now you can see this is Unreal Engine project browser where you can exactly select your type of project and you can start your work. So first of all, this is the recent projects. This is the game project. This is film and video and the live events and this is architecture, automobile and the simulation. So what exactly it will say that you can do everything in this Unreal Engine. Basically, this is a virtual production based software. You can see everything in real time. OK, so for now, I'm selecting this film and video live events mode because I can do play with this all the settings here as well. And then select the starter content pack. And also, if your GPU support ray tracing, definitely check on this ray tracing. This is actually a game changer. Next thing you need to select your project location. So here I'm just selecting my project location. Also, you can create your own folder here just rename it like this and select and select folder now you can simply press the create button it start creating and it will launch your unreal engine project so now guys let me tell you some interesting facts regarding this software so if you have iphone you can exactly do a lot of things like you can directly shoot you can directly give footages in your unreal engine you can compose it you can exactly shoot hand movement and it will grab the camera movement inside your unreal engine so yes if you have you can definitely check them out also if you need that type of tutorial comment down below i'll create all right so this is launched right now so this is the first time whenever you see unreal engine here you can see the error is called texture streaming pool over 5 539 mib budget so you can exactly turn it off so first of all go to this edit and here you can find this project settings just simply click here where you can find this search box just simply search texture texture so this panel is dedicated for all of your texture properties simply scroll down where you can find this option is called texture streaming just simply check off this and obviously you can see it's gone and simply you just close this up so this is unreal engine user interface or you can call this a viewer so if you just click alt and mouse you can simply rotate it just like this also you can simply scroll for zoom in zoom out you can simply increase the zooming capacity from here this is called camera speed if you increase this if you simply zoom it will go very very fast now it's still lagging just because of in back end it's still getting processed so when the process will done it will become a more smoother all right so in this way you can see few panels on the top end few panels on the right hand side and also you can find a contained browser in the below part. So if you click this contained browser, so this is a content browser where you can definitely check all your content, 3D assets, materials, blueprints. It will completely fit on this space. Now this panel is for, you can call it like outliner, same like Maya. Also for simple understanding way, you can call this as a layer panel. Whenever you do any changes, you can do that on this edit graph editors panel or you can call this as a details panel for this Unreal Engine. So here you can change anything. Okay. So this is a basic floor. You can simply select. You can simply move it on any direction. You can exactly scale this up. So for scaling, you can simply press R on your keyboard and you can simply just scale it up. Also, you can rotate this as well. Simply press E on your keyboard and now you can see this controllers. So you can simply rotate it just like this. Also, you can simply select and delete. If you notice, this panel have a dedicated light setup, but I'll show you a very simple way to create light setup 
setup in Unreal Engine 5.1.1. So first of all, select everything and simply press delete. You press yes to all. Now it's completely a blank screen. So to create a basic generated light setup, here you can find this tool called Environmental Light Mixer. Simply click this where you can find this many options. So we need a sky dome, skylight, uh, create atmospheric light. So here everything is set up pre-made. So just simply click this uh, create skylight, then create atmosphere, create a volumetric cloud, height fog and atmospheric light. That's it. When you click everything, you can see already your light setup is done in just few simple steps to add something on your project screen you can simply go here you can import any content from outside you can import any light set you can exactly import any basic primitives like shapes if you just click on this cube you can see the cube is here you can simply press w to add this you can simply move this up also you can scale same like other properties you can simply press delete to delete it now i'll show you something about the shadows so first of all i'm creating a plane so the plane has come up like this just scale it up just a bit now i'm creating a cube here as well just like this now automatically you can see a real-time shadow is generated here now the ray tracing is on so it means it will start getting lagging also if you don't facing this it means your system is very good but in my laptop it's not that good enough for ray tracing so if you feel that you can simply turn it off now if you notice an auto save option will be automatic popped up so don't worry about that the unreal engine setup by default auto saving your set of files now you can see some properties panel here of every project things like in this cube you can see these options like location rotation and scale also you can see some static mesh basically whatever you will create that called it as in like static mesh you can simply change it from here as well you can simply change it from here as like cone or any other shapes like uh, shape of cube then shape of cylinder anything also you can give materials from here as well you can simply check any material so i'm just selecting it a brick type of model so it will come up like this also you can change for floor material simply select the flow and go here you can check any material so let's see i'm just checking it like a title and now see this material come up and the most important part is all materials are procedural so it means whenever you scale this the texture is also scaled up and this is also a very seamless process if you notice the reflections are also pretty nice and this is also a real time now if you want to play inside of unreal engine if you want to check yourself inside of unreal engine you can simply press this play button so it will take a bit time and automatically it will jump into like a controlling mode so you can see these two controllers panels up come up here you can see this this is controller number one and controller number two so now what exactly you can do if you play games in computer with the help of w a s d you can simply move yourself inside of unreal engine you can see this i am moving myself inside of unreal engine with the help of these keys like w s a n t also to get back from this view just press escape it will get back to the normal view now coming up to the content browser simply click here now if you don't want this content browser to automatically drop it down you can simply press this dock in layout so automatically it will fit on the layout panel so let me show you in the starter content pack you have a lot of things like architecture audio your blueprints hdr maps materials and particles blah 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 so if you simply go to this particle panels just double click you can see some particles already pre-made simply click drag and drop and it will take some time to bit a buffer and automatically it will generate fires for you now you can see the fire is start generating here you can simply interact with any element something like i'm interacting with this sphere or cylinder you can call it and it will automatically interacting with this see it's pretty nice now if you want to change the light direction here the shortcut i'll show you so simply press ctrl and l and now you can change the light direction in real time also you can see the reflections as well if you move it to the top it's become like 12 hours clock time also you can go down to make some sunset now see there is no light in the scene right now only the particle are emitting the light this is an amazing thing 
in this Unreal Engine, obviously. All right, there are a lot of options like HDRI, pre-made maps. Pre-made maps, basically, you can exactly jump in any maps and you can play with that. I will make dedicated video of that as well. Guys, please do comment which type of content you exactly want from this channel. Because there's a new channel, I have few plans, but still, I want your suggestion. Now, here are a few more options I'll show you. This is a perspective panel where you can go exactly like normal 3D software, any view like top, bottom, left and right. Also, this is called lit. Lit is basically which want you to enable. Like this is a light only mode. If you simply check this on, this is the light only mode. Now, this is the visible collision. If there is any collision is happening, you can see it from here. Then the reflections. Now, you can see the only reflection part. This is basically you can call this as in like a passes. Okay. So, I'm just making it lit back again. Now, in show, you can exactly turn on and off anything. Like if you don't want particles, simply turn it off. Particle will off. So, in this panel, you can see this uh, like object selection mode move tool rotation scale this is a world axis and these are like point grid divisions in the top end side you can find file edit windows tools bar panel from windows you can find again this many shortcuts from tools you can exactly do a lot of stuff like enable nanite and all then build you can exactly build any light setup anything from this build panel you can do that in the actors panel you can create any 3d characters or you can add in 3d characters in this unreal engine scene now go to edit and plugins mode now in this plugin mode you can exactly enable many plugins which will exactly help you to do a lot of stuff in unreal engine so yes that's it for today this video i'm trying to give you a basic idea about unreal engine what exactly it can do now for the rendering for more other stuff you need to subscribe you need to follow this channel so guys my name is rajat i'll see you very soon in this channel till then stay healthy and bye bye